Hi everybody! This is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. It is Thursday. Can you believe it's already Thursday? Anywho, um, Thursdays we talk about Pink Punch Studio new releases. So first we're going to go through the kits that were released last Friday. And oh my goodness, you guys, this hydrangea kit is just beyond gorgeous. And I've seen so many beautiful spreads using it. Um, you can build yourself a little bouquet with the sticks. You can tie the little string around it. I showed you, I actually built one and mixed in a Gerber flower in last Thursday's sneak peek part of the video. So um, we won't spend a lot of time on those today, but so pretty. I have used them in a couple of spreads and I am loving them. That's the lovely palette and here are the seam hydrangeas in the Shabby Chic palette. All right, we got the bull clips. That is lovely. What did I hit? Here we go, and this is Shabby Chic. So pretty. We got the keyboard punters, which are fantastic if you do Whaley spreads. Um, it's a nice quick place to put your weekly and tuck it into every daily. That is lovely palette. And here is Shabby Chic palette. We got the magnetic clips. Lovely. Shabby Chic. Torn papers. <laughs> lovely. And Shabby Chic. Here, should we mix it up? We'll do this one first. Shabby chic coffee cup, uh, travel mugs. And so you have your coffee, hot chocolates, your matcha, your tea. You pick your beverage of choice and then you just put this little um, travel mug lid on top and it looks like a top view of your drink. Just like that, so easy. That is the Shabby chic palette and here is the lovely palette. You can see it's just a little bit of the color on the rim of the cup. Now, for those of you with keen eyes, you will see that I skipped over a sticker kit. We have not had the composition planners in a long time, um, but we have them now in the new colorways for May, the new palettes, and it's just as pretty. Look at them. They look just like those real life composition notebooks in all the different colors. And then we have different kinds of pages for the inside. You can do just left, just right, combined. There is plain, dot grid, regular grid, line with the little red rule on the side. And then there are these little sheets that are like what's inside the cover of the actual composition planners notebooks with like conversion tables, multiplication table, school schedule. This kit is so much fun. I'm so glad it's had a bit of a revival. So this is it in the lovely palette and then also in the shabby chic palette. So much fun. Now I have like every window open. So let's close a few windows. Cause my good notes doesn't like having every window open. All right, there we go. Um, I'm gonna change this up. Instead of doing a spread with last week's releases like I would normally do, I am so beyond excited about the sneak peeks. So I thought that maybe we could jump right into those and I'll use the sneak peeks for a spread. So first of all, ta-da! There is a Mother's Day weekend sale, 30% off every digital planning thing in the Pink Punch Studio shop. Um, no coupon needed. I believe it's active right now. I think 9 p.m. my time is midnight. Pink Punch Studio time, and it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
30% off. So if there's anything you've had your eye on, scoop it up. So that's exciting. Now, this is exciting. So for any of you who do my digital paper challenge and watch my other videos, my Sunday and my Tuesday videos, you will know that Pink Punch Studio donated a pa three papers and an overlay to the digital paper challenge um, in my Facebook group. And you guys are killing it, by the way. I'm loving the spreads, um, the overlays, everything. It's just so much fun. Well, the love for the papers has definitely got a little digital paper bug into her ear. And she has made us this beautiful paper kit in the lovely colorway. I'm pretty sure we'll see it in other colorways as well. But for now, I have this one to share with you um, on our sneak peek. And I'm just going to switch over to my files. So this kit does not come in a good notes file because it's a whole bunch of great big papers and it would be a lot of memory you don't want to be sticking that in your good notes so you'll when you download it you'll get the digital papers i'm going to scroll through we have the hollow agate this foil one it looks it looks so shiny it looks so real i love it um, this is like a burlap texture with the hollow. And then we have the burlap in each of the palette colors in the lovely palette. Ooh, on this dark screen. <laughs> I should have cleaned my screen before I did this video. My iPad's dirty. <laughs> I hope you guys can't see it too badly. You probably can. I'm sorry. Um, then we have the hydrangea paper. So you guys have, who are in the paper challenge have already seen this, but for everybody else it'll be in the shop then we have the agate in each of the palette colors as well and then we have this i don't know what you call it if it's like a marble or veins i know it's really pretty i love it and then this one this is like the oh my gosh when I saw this I just lost my mind it is so beautiful so it, it's kind of almost like a marble it's got little bits of foil it's just so pretty so pretty and then your regular hollow so 25 papers in this paper kit and I cannot wait to see what you guys do now I know a lot of you have watched my Tuesday videos and I do spreads and custom scene using digital papers. Um, but I want to show you, I have not done my work spread this week. I have not done any spreads. Look, I haven't even done my monthly for work. Okay. So this is my planner um, that I made myself in Keynote using stickers from other shops, uh, mostly Lenny Digitals. But I want to show you because I've done this a few times now with this planner and I love how it turns out. So I'm going to copy this one. So I've just done split screen with my iCloud files here. And this is just a lovely coincidence that my background for... May matches the lovely paper kit very nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this so that it matches my page as close as I can get it top to bottom. And then I'm going to figure out kind of halfway between this little bubble here is where I'm going to want to crop it. So I have my image tool selected. I'm going to say crop. I'm going to just drag this side over to about halfway on that little bubble that we identified. And then with any luck, this will match up somewhat closely. All right, so I need a little bit more. You can see here, I've got it lined up with the bottom page almost but I want it to line up with that inside page. So we just need to take a little smidge. I'm going to deselect the paper so that if I do have to hit undo, 
it only goes back to this. If I don't deselect it, it'll go back to the full original size. So I just need to snip the tiniest little bit. Okay, <laughs> not so tiny a bit. We need a little more than that. Oops, I didn't hit the done. I'm going to hit done. We won't save it if we don't hit done. There we go. And we're getting closer. Just a smidge more. That looks perfect. So now I'm just going to line it up here. And just check the top. It's a teeny bit too tall. So I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to squish it a little. Since it's like barely a millimeter that we're squishing, it's not going to really affect the image. You don't... Ooh. Palm rejection has been off lately when I really zoomed in. Alright, we're going to go with that. Now, because I knew I would be doing things like this, I have on the sticker tab of this planner, I have a set of rings. Close. Copy. Let's go back to, oh, I picked July. Didn't mean to pick July. Where are we? There's faster ways to do this. <laughs> Anyhow, so now I can put these rings on top. And now it looks like that first page is matches one of my digital papers. So now we can keep on going. We can make almost a whole spread with just using the digital papers. No Procreate, um, nothing like that. I think I'm going to use this yellow one. So I'm going to do copy, paste, and I'm going to crop this as well. it so that it fits the top of my box and I like this color because it ties in with the yellow tones and the gold foil oh and good notes did that super fun thing where even though it was a perfectly straight image it decided to paste it in crooked so I'm just gonna select it and then if you rock it, it'll straighten it out. However, you do have to resize it extra carefully. So now I'm going to not nudge them. I'm going to carefully copy those two. And then I should just be able to paste them simultaneously. And that saves me part of my time. One more at the bottom here. I always combine the last box for Saturday and Sunday on my work spreads. You can see how I did it here. I use digital papers for this spread as well. You can see it in um, one of my videos. Can't remember which one. <laughs> Um, all right, now I think I'm going to do this dark burlap as well, copy, and we're going to do the exact same thing, I'm going to shrink this down,
And so I want it to fill this bottom box. So we're close just a smidge more. That should do it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I didn't do the trick where I copied them both this time. It's all right. We'll be quick. Okay, so there we go. I've got the main background of my spread all set up using the papers. So now we can add a little bit of decor. So I'm going to grab an H. I think that's more than eight. I'm just going to go to a blank page, um, paste down all these hydrangeas, and drop this one. And now these are way too big. So let's grab them again. What I'm doing is my spread, I use eight bullets. So I'm going to line these up in a row along the side of the page I'm going to try. I'm going to make sure the box lines up with the edge of the page and I'm going to just try to eyeball that each flower is about the same distance apart from the one above it. I'm going to swap this. I'm going to put the darker red up near the top because it's at the bottom. And I'm going to put the yellow closer to the bottom. I'll show you. If that doesn't make sense, I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. But I'm just trying to balance the colors and how they show up on the page. Okay. So these gorgeous hydrangeas, did I cut? I want to cut. There we go. We're going to paste them on. They need to be pretty small. So I'm just going to stretch it big enough so that they kind of center in each line. And those will be my bullets. So the reason I moved the colors around, I have yellow at the top here. So I didn't want yellow to be my first one. And I have the really dark berry color at the bottom. So I didn't want my berry one to be down here either. I wanted to kind of balance those colors. So now I'm just going to lasso them now that I have them the size that I want. And I'll just paste it. onto each of my days. Not sure why, but this top one just seems big. Oh well, I don't want to change them. I should have changed it before. Very nice. grab a bow or a leaf and I have it positioned the way I want it so we'll paste that Oh my goodness, this looks so pretty. 
<laughs> you know when you kind of think, hey, maybe this will work. I wonder what I can do with this. And then you do it and it comes together even better than you thought. That's what I'm feeling right now. back over here and then grab this pretty little saw and pole and I'm going to put it on this side here. So once I get it the size I want I'm putting it in a blank space on my spread and copying it and that way I can easily put it up on each of the places each one one book for every day this bottom box is where I record my start and end times for my work day so what else do we have here We're going to take another crop. And I'm going to make this little bit be for like the title. This is where I put the month. Now in my elements, I have a bunch of stuff saved, including some wire words from Enchunk Digitals. So I'm going to use those because it's a quick way to add some dates to my page here. Great Monday. You know what? Because I'm doing the whole week, I'm going to do it a little different. Wire word calendar. And we need the gold page. Oh, there's two gold pages. I like that one. This one? I think so. I want the days of the week. Please match. Oh, it's not that one. It's the other one. <laughs> Copy. Yeah, it's that one. And that matches better with the gold foil. Okay. So Wednesday always takes up the most room, so we resize it so that Wednesday fits. I'm actually not too sure these day of the week stickers are sized the same. I was hoping by taking them from the Good Notes file that they would be. And I would save this step from using the elements. Clearly didn't work. Bit of a back. But that's okay. So we made the Wednesday sticker the size that we want, and I'm just layering each sticker on top and lining up the, the word day until I get it the size that I want it. Not that size. Oh my goodness, I can't get over how much I am loving this right now. <laughs> this is coming together so good. Just wait till we put the numbers on those leaves. So one thing that's really key is 
I'm sizing them all to the Wednesday. I'm not lining it up like I did one to Wednesday and then I'll line up the next one to this, you know, like I'm lining them all up to this one. If you line, like if I did Monday first and then line Tuesday up to Monday and then Wednesday up to Tuesday and then Thursday up to Wednesday, if they're a little bit bigger and each time you get a little bit bigger, by the time you get to the end, it's like such a different size. So the key thing is to pick your starting word and line everything up to that one seam first word every time. And that way you will ensure you get more consistent sizing than if you're lining them up to a different word each time. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Monday. Monday was the second, I think, Thursday, three, four, five, yes. This works especially well because all of the days of the week this week are single digit. So I don't have to like try to make double digit numbers. All right, look at that. <gasps> so amazing. I usually put some kind of decor sticker here. So let's put this hydrangea paper here. Okay. And then I'm going to take all this and cut and paste so now it's all on the top layer above the hydrangea paper which I will then slip back over and it'll pop behind them because that box isn't a perfect square almost but not quite Oh my goodness, <laughs> I love it so much. How pretty is that? Okay, so now let's go back. Let's go back to our sneak peeks. So I've got two more files that I wanted to show you. These are still in the lovely palette. We have the Hollow Mobile Office Kit. So pretty and then we have just the ninth shade this beautiful berry color so what's really great is if you get both kits like a, a multicolor one and then a solid one they mix and match so well so we can take maybe the pencil Uh, on our page and then we'll grab the pen and it needs to be like a little writing implement stack there we go. What else? Have I mentioned I love this berry color like so much? I think it's like the prettiest shade. And it pops so nicely. So 
and we can just decorate our page now with the kits. So you get the picture. We use the digital papers to build kind of the base of our spread and then I've used bits from some of the other kits to put the detail and the decor in. And that's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> or if I do. There you go. So, super exciting. I hope you like the sneak peeks. Don't forget about the sale. Um, there will be way more being listed. I even heard maybe more than one release this weekend, not just one day of drops. Who knows? Stay tuned. Keep an eye on the Pink Punch Studio Facebook group and Etsy shop. The links for those are going to be in the description of the video, so check them out. You don't want to miss it. Just these papers. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, check the description. Like my videos. Subscribe. Drop me a note if you like. Uh, check out the Facebook group. I think that's it. <laughs> I will be back on Sunday night, probably late because my parents are in town visiting and so whenever they go home, I'll make a video. Um, so yeah, I'll be back on Sunday and we'll do a plan with me. Um, super exciting, oh so whimsy um, spread, uh, plan with me that we're going to do. I can't wait. It's, it's some new stuff. Shh, don't tell anyone. Anywho. Um, yep. Yeah. So that's it. Have a great night, everyone. Bye.